Welcome all. In this session, I am going to show you one of the useful tools for software testers that is let code. So what exactly is this let code and how it can be useful for the software testers? Let me explain. Let code is not a tool guys. It is a website which is owned by Kaushik. Kaushik has created this let code website where you can go and practice your automation skills. Okay, you can practice or test your automation skills guys. So without wasting any time, let me take you to this website, which is developed by Kaushik. That is a let code website. So open any browser guys and type let code dot in guys. I n don't type dot com better type dot in so that you will go to the proper website. After going to this particular page, you just need to see this testing practice site, right? Simply click on the let go. You'll be taken to this welcome automation engineer page where you see a lot of boxes here, right? A lot of boxes. Uh, if you want to practice something related to, okay? If you want to uh, practice or test your automation skills related to the input box fields, then this is the place. If you want to test or practice automation skills related to the button UI elements, then you have to go here like that guys, okay? Whatever you want to practice, you can select that. Let's say I want to practice something related to the input box fields. So when I get in guys, you see there are a lot of tasks that you need to automate, right? Here, Kaushik has beautifully written down all the tasks. Like for each and every field, you need to do this. Let's say I want to practice something here and I came to this website. And now the Kaushik has given me an example, like a kind of task where he is asking me to enter my full name here. So how to do that? So what I will do is uh, I have this Eclipse ID ready with me. I have some sample code already written. Now what I have to do, first I have to go to this page, right? I'll copy this and driver dot get i'll directly go to this web page now my next 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 uh, thing that i have to do is i need to enter my name here as specified here i need to perform the test this is how guys i need to practice and practice or test my automation skills from this website so here i need to enter right uh, here what is mentioned enter your full name so i need to enter my full name using my automation code so here i'll right click this field inspect and I got this. So I'll quickly copy the X path. And uh, I got the X path here. Okay, this is X path, guys. I'll just convert a bit. So I'll replace the double quotes with single quotes. Copy this. Then driver dot find element by dot X path. I'm just checking whether I am able to enter the text into the text field given by Kaushik here on this page, right? Dot send keys. So here I'll enter my name, okay? If I'm able to enter my name with the help of this automation script, then I have succeeded, succeeded in this particular task case, okay? Let me run this code. So yeah, it will take some time to launch. Let's see, yeah, it has launched. The browser has launched. It has uh, now maximized. It went to the page. You see, it has typed my name, Arun Motori into this particular text. So I have successfully completed the first task. Now. What I have to do, then I have to go with the next task, right? The next task is to append a text and press keyboard key. Like that, there are several tasks on this particular page, right? If you have to practice or learn or uh, check where, where exactly you are in your automation skills, right? Then you need to perform all these tasks with the help of by writing this kind of automation code. So that's how this website is designed, guys. Now, once you are done with the input field, you can go with the buttons. There are a lot of tasks related to the buttons also, but you need to automate as part of these buttons. Everything is clearly mentioned here. You need to get the X and Y coordinates of this particular button like that. Okay, a lot of things are there. So related to alerts, okay, you need to accept the alert. You need to dismiss the alert and print the alert text. You need to type name and accept this particular alert. You need some something related to sweet alert. Like a lot of things are there, guys. Okay, you can wait. Uh, if you want to see whether you can wait using the automation scripts or not, then Okay, calendar related stuff. A lot of stuff is there here, guys. It's a very good place for some automation engineer to practice or test where exactly he stands in terms of his automation. Fine. So hope guys, uh, you loved this particular website, which is uh, created and owned by Kaushik. So that's it for this session, guys. Thank you. Bye.